Hey, Wick, welcome back to the channel. I'm Chuck, KK6USY for Ham Radio Adventures, and today we're going to check out a 50 watt solar panel from Banggood. Let's check it out. Okay, today uh, I was asked by Banggood if I'd like to review one of their solar panels, and I said, sure send it and uh, we'll check it out. Now Banggood does not make me say that it's good or bad or anything like that. It's all my own opinions. I don't have to show them my video beforehand or anything like that. So this will be my opinions and what I think of it. Now here's the panel. It's an iMars 50 watt panel. Now I'll, I'll give you some more close-ups for of it later. The one problem I did have was when I got this thing, it came USPS, although it was USPS, but I'm sure it came on a truck like a UPS truck. I'm not sure. I, I forget. I remember the guy ringing my doorbell and like running off to his truck and leaving. Well, when I picked the box up, uh, now this is not a, this is not a, a bad thing about Banggood. This is about a bad thing about the person they bought this from or who they're selling from. The packaging was terrible. And I contacted the Banggood rep that I'm dealing with. That person got back to them and said they should probably put some um, some foam. Sorry about the dog barking. I, I, it's next to my house here. And the problem I really saw was it had like a couple pieces of tape. The tape was ripped uh, open on one spot. The box was open, and apparently it fell out because. Right here, you can. I'll show you a close-up later. It's got a little spot where it looks like it hit something, and the wire to hook it up that goes into here. You can see the light; it's already picking up light here. And we do have a nice sunny day today, and I think we'll get some good sun for it. But uh, the plug, that, the one that plugs in right here, has a USB and a regular round plug. Um, it was missing. I happen to have one. Uh, Banggood did tell me if if it was damaged, they'd send me a new one. I don't think the damage is actually going to uh, perfect performance at all. I'll put the date in, um, but as of this date, I think it's $29.99. So most people that review solar panels, uh, a dollar a watt is good. So $30 for 50 watts, that's pretty good. Let's check out its performance. Uh, I'm waiting for the sun to come up and we'll try it out. I've already tried it once. It looks pretty good. Uh, and we'll compare it maybe to another one that I had that's 60 watts, but the size is quite a bit different. Now, it's a flexible solar panel, and I wouldn't bend it too far, but something like that's good. It looks to be of really good quality. Um, it has a decent finish. It's not the best finish you can get, and we'll go into that later. All right, let's check it out. I'll take you to their site, and we'll look at it on the site and read all about it. Okay, so here's the Banggood site. This is for the solar panel that I'm reviewing today. As you can see right here, it's $29.99, 52% off. This says the sale ends the 16 hours, but uh, I, I do believe this kind of goes on for more than that. So if you look up here, it says a spring sale, slash up to 70% off on everything. There'll be, in the description below, there'll be three different um, links to different parts. I think this part, their, their uh, spring sale, and I'll put it in the description. So we go down here and you can look at all the different parts. See, it's supposed to come with this wire here. I didn't get that, that you know, because of the box being open. There's the front and back. There it is flat. And here's the uh, connection for your phone, or like I will show you later in the video, that you can hook like uh, even your HT up that you can uh, charge via USB. And then there's another picture of it there. So you can go down here, and, and if you look at this right now, it's only available from China right now, fourteen fifteen for shipping. So that kind of uh, brings the price up a bit. But when this was available in the U.S., it was like two dollars shipping, same price. Uh, it comes down here, different stuff. This this is their own video on it here, and it's another one on a twenty five water. Here's the specs for, they sell it in a 25 and a 50, and here's the specs for both. You guys can uh, click on the link and look that up later. And it's just different ways people put them up. Like like I was telling, like I told you, you can put them on a uh, RV like this, and it, it will go on a curved surface. It tells you all the different things. It's a superior monocrystalline solar cells, and it has a uh, PET panel. 
PET is pretty good. There's there's better stuff out there, but this is, I mean, for the price of this thing, thirty dollars for fifty watts, it's it's plenty good enough, and it's pretty durable. I I, I messed around with it a lot here at the house, and uh, it it seems really durable. I just wouldn't leave it out, you know, twenty four seven, you know, for the whole year. And it just shows different ways people put them on their yachts, their big rigs, camping. Now now camping, I I you know. I'll have to measure this thing and I'll put it someplace in the video. I think this thing will fit in my backpack. I know the 25 watt will. So, you know, here's your measurements here in millimeters, but I'll get you inches also. But to tell you the truth, this thing is really light compared to my fold up uh, 60 watt one that I have. So, and here's the ends of the uh, connector. The reviews are 4.76 out of 5. So that's pretty, pretty good. All these are 5. So, someplace in there, you know, and it's got pages. It's got 14 pages of reviews. So that just gives you kind of a, a quick look of what's going on with this. It's a pretty nice, it's a pretty nice uh, panel, especially for thirty dollars. I think you guys will will like it. This is from iMars. Here's their logo up here. Uh, let me get that a little more centered for you. As you can see, there's a light on there right now, so it's picking up light right now. I don't know if you can see that light right there. This is the uh, spot that looked like it got damaged right here. So. Yeah, it did damage a little bit, but it doesn't affect the actual solar panels themselves. It's just the frame around the outside. And here's the back of the frame. It looks a little marked. It's got some markings on it. came that way. Here's the specs. It says model SPP50, max power 50 watts, USB 5 volt, uh, 3.4 amp, 9 volt, 2.0 amps, and 12 volt, 1.5 amps. DC output is 23.6 volts, 2.2 amps, plus or minus 5. Operating temperature, uh, minus 40 to plus 65 Celsius. And it says, note the panels, fold, foldable angle is within 15 degrees. Now it does have these rings here for hanging it, and that works pretty good. And so we will test, let me turn it back over here for you guys now you see I don't know if you can see the light looks like it's on there, there's your power for your voltage comes out of there and this is your USB you can charge multiple different things on this thing and I've already tried my phone it works pretty good and we'll hook up a like a little handy talkie a little HT to it that uh, has USB charge and uh, we'll see if it, if it works on that also Okay, so I have it hooked to a voltmeter. Hopefully you can see the screen there. It's 21.32. This is a, uh, the solar panel is supposed to uh, max out at 23.6. So what we're going to do is we are going to rotate it more towards the sun because it's laying flat right now. And we'll just watch the voltage and see where we can get the highest voltage at. So 21.56. Twenty-one six five. Twenty-one six seven. I saw twenty-one six eight. Okay, let me charge. Let me sit, let me put the phone in. Okay. It says charging thirty-eight percent charged. And there's the date. Hey, it's Thursday, March 24th, 2022. So I got that in the in the film, in the video. Okay, so let's unplug the phone charger. And what I have here is a little Bofang. There's a little red light on the back of it that will tell if it's charging. Okay, so we're still on the charge controller, so we're still charging the battery. And if you look right here, that is the Right here is the light for the charging of the HT. So let me see if I can plug this in. We should see the light come on. And we do see the light come on. So it does charge this. Okay, here we want to have an example of a 55 liter backpack and installing the 50 watt solar panel in the back of it. I would put it in first and then stuff everything around it. 
and it seems to fit just fine. And then now I'm going to actually kind of show you how you could actually attach it to the back so you could uh, charge while you're walking. Works great. Now here we're, uh, is a setup that we would have in the field for radios. Have the, the uh, solar panel hooked up to a charge controller. You'll see that in a minute. And I've got the radio hooked to a antenna. And I've got a, a nine amp hour battery sitting on there in the Heil Sound box. As we come around, it's on a nice little table. Something that you could either take for parks on the air, this setup, or you could do this on soda. We'll probably get rid of the box for the uh, battery. I got the IC705 set in there with the microphone. And then here's the charge controller. I think you guys saw that earlier. Amps later on when I was checking it after I checked it the first time, actually boasted all the way up to uh, almost two amps. So it's doing pretty well. So I think this is a, a great little buy for people that uh, need a small, portable, lightweight uh, solar panel. I think it's a good deal, especially at $30. Okay, I, I hope that uh, this video helps you, somebody out that's looking for something like this uh, solar panel. At, at $30, uh, it's not too bad of a price, and uh, the quality looks pretty good, I have to say. And a lot of people are using these to put on top of their motorhomes or trailers, and they glue them down or tape them down. But I wouldn't personally, myself, from what I've seen about these type of uh, flexible solar panels, I don't think I would actually leave it up all the time. This is something I'm going to use when I go out, you know, with my radio. I showed you guys how it worked with the radios and charging the phone and charging the battery and all that stuff. So if you did get something out of this, please hit that like. It helps the algorithm. And if you're new here, think about subscribing. Hit that bell. Hit the all. That way you'll get all my future videos. This is Chuck, KK6USY for Ham Radio Adventures. Thank you for being here and spending your time with me. And hope to catch you guys on the airways. It's Chuck, KK6USY73 all.